Okay, so now I'm going to show you the uh, head functioning and I'll uh, show you the read and readout and the power feed uh, doing its thing. So I'll start with the head. It's in, uh, low or it's in high right now, so we're at uh, 500 RPM. Show you the power feed working. Brake works great. Pick her up. As you can see the different speeds here. Highest speed. So for this display, we'll go ahead and just run it in the medium speed for down feed. Make sure your clamps off. Yeah, it does have the uh, quick nut on here. You lock it out. They're awesome. The uh, quill is gorgeous on here. As you'll see as it comes down, there's not a scratch on the quill. Alright, that might be a slight exaggeration, but uh, you're always going to have some marks where the brake rubs on it. But uh, other than that, it's uh, Looks beautiful. I'll run that up there so you don't have to wait a half an hour for this video to complete. And as you can see, she powers off down feed, and she's ready to go. Um, so I'm going to have to put her in low. Forward reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the readout now. I'm going to pull the uh, cover off so you can see it without a glare. Or without as much of a glare. And then if you remember, I was telling you about the digital readout being a little bit uh, different than uh, some of your other readouts. Instead of having the, uh, let me put this cover back on the readout. Instead of this power feed uh, using a big lever out here and this little piece here that the rubber boot always goes bad or the switch gets broken off because it's sticking out in space, they just use a little lever here. I'm going to turn the speed down a little bit. Yeah, that's up all the way. If you just hear that, it's nice and smooth. You can run that thing down to the lowest speed, and you'll notice that it just moves along super smooth, and that's because of that spiral bevel gear. Now your rapid, your rapid is in the center here now, which uh, just makes that a very nice little function that you can actually uh, use that instead of uh, having the uh, having the uh, button up here again this always gets broke off up here so just a uh, super innovation here is they uh, use a spiral bevel gear inside of here and a rapid button is now center in here and it's protected by the actual switch I've sold a pile of these they're very good units they hold up well and again they're licensed by the servo name so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop the video and we're gonna I'm gonna set her up to actually mill a piece of steel. I'll put a piece of steel on the vise and we'll uh we'll actually set her up and do a cut.